Hello, everyone, and welcome again to Talking Soul. You know we got a story to be told. I would also like to introduce my co-host, the lovely Miss Loretta B. Hello, 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 and welcome. Hey, thank you, Loretta. Thank you for joining me once again. You know, we're going to do something just a little different for this podcast episode. And that is, we're going to choose some topics to talk about, and, um, and then we're going to discuss them. And we're going to ask our uh, viewing public to join in as well. You know, t- tell us what you think about it. So, uh, and we're going to take it one at a time. So don't worry, don't rush, no problem. Okay, so the first thing that we are going to be talking about, because it's kind of kind of related to the show that we have coming up in uh, Mayersville, Miva, Mississippi, up in July. And that is, uh, we're going to be having soul food, and we're going to be having soul music. Ooh, yeah. And those two are great combinations, would you say? Just wonderful. <laughs> All right, so the first topic is this. Food for the mind. Music for the soul. Ooh. How do they relate? So that's what we want to talk about. So if you have any thoughts, uh, Loretta, let me know what your thoughts are about that. How does uh, uh, food for the mind relate to music for the soul? First off, I think one should have all the knowledge and gain all the knowledge that one could possibly gain as far as being in the music business mm-hmm. and as for as for the soul oh that's something that you just feel all over in yeah. and out yeah oh okay mm-hmm. all right you know you know for me mm. i'm thinking that when i say food for the mind mm-hmm. you know our mind doesn't eat the same kind of food material food that our bodies take in but Whatever our minds take in is the same as the food for our bodies. So if I'm listening to uh, junk music and, and junk <laughs> conversation <laughs> and, 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 and junk this and junk that, I'm listening to that all day long. That's like junk food for the mind. That's right. So we don't want to we don't want to do that. What we want to do is we want to take in what we consider to be wholesome, delicious, good for you uh, kind of food for the mind. So that's what food for the mind means to me. Now, uh, mm-hmm. music for the soul mm-hmm. is basically, to me, that means the same thing. Uh, if you have music for the soul, it's going to do something to uplift your spirits because your soul and your spirits, you know, they're, they're kind of mm-hmm. intermingled one and the same at some certain times. So we want music that's going to make you feel good. We don't want music that's going to make you depressed. We don't want music that's going to make you want to hurt somebody. We don't want music talking about cheating on somebody all the time and going out to these places and doing all the dirty things that people do. <laughs> so, I, you know, I, that's just me. I don't, I don't like that kind of music. I'm just putting it out there right now. So what, what would you think about that? Hmm. I guess that was a mouthful, wasn't it? I just have to shake my head on that <laughs> one. <laughs> Gee whiz. <laughs> How am I going to come back at you with that one? Jeez. <laughs> i tell you what. <laughs> Do you want to hear us? Let, let, let's listen to a song and then we'll come back. Maybe that'll then, help. Yeah, will <laughs> that help? Will that help? I think it'll help. It will help me for sure. (laughs) Okay. And so we'll come back and then we'll uh, get another topic of conversation because we want, we want our listening audience also to, to chime in, you know, let us know what you think. Don't just sit there. Come on, talk to us, talk to us. All right. But we'll be right back. I say I'll move the mountains and I'll move if she wants them out of the way 
crazy she calls me sure and crazy crazy in love I say I say I'll go through fire and I'll go through fire as she wants it so it shall be crazy she calls me Sure I'm crazy, crazy in love, you see. And we are back. And um, so uh, I hope you all like that little ditty. <laughs> you know, and so uh, we got some more for you. But you know, the, the next topic we're going to um, uh, get into, and, and that still has to do with music. And it has to do with the, you know, people always say uh, concerning this music, well, that's some good, good old oldies, man. Good old oldies. Have you heard that, Loretta? When they call all it all the time. <laughs> yes. There's another name that they also use when they talk about back in Chicago. You know, where where I grew up, uh, a, a great deal of my time, my life. Uh, mm -hmm. There was another word that they said other than oldies, and that word was dusties. Have you heard that expression? Never. You haven't heard that? You know, Dusty. and yeah, the reason that they call it Dusty's is if you had an old record that you had forgotten about probably and it had been uh, recorded some time ago, uh, you you know be up on the shelf looking for something and then you discover they what this record doing up there? Well, <laughs> well, wow, what is this? <laughs> you know, just blowing the dust off of it and, and oh, getting dusty. And, oh, dusty. Oh, man, I remember this song. So, and that's what that's the idea about calling music dusties. Mm. Uh, but I want to get rid of that idea. My new phrase is this What was old is new again. Is that all right with you? That's all right with me. <laughs> That's all right with me, too. And so we uh, are, are going to be doing some things in Mississippi on July the 5th, like we had talked about. And one of the songs that I have recorded already, I've been trying to get, uh, figure out a way to get that song um, really out there so people can kind of actually really listen to it. It's a nice medium up tempo, I would say, medium up tempo uh, song. I'm not going to say the name of it. I think it's hot. Oh, great! All right, I'm going. We're going to be uh, playing it, and it's been playing, and people, a lot of people love it. And one time, you know, when I did it, uh, I was in Long Beach, and this this was this this song was uh, the one I, I had in my repertoire, and I was singing it, and I was surprised that all the people got up and they they were just really grooving and 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 then uh, jam into this this song i said man i didn't know the song was that enjoyable so that's that's the song that we're gonna do and the purpose of doing that song is we are going to create a new dance step i'll give you i'll give you a, a hint <laughs> this <laughs> This dance is a combination of two dances that we already know. I'm not going to tell them what it is, but it's a combination of two different dances that are very popular. But we're going to fuse those dances together. Now there may be some people out there that I have talked to this, I talked about, you know, about this with. Um, they may already know what I'm saying, but I want you all to be quiet. Don't say anything. <laughs> you all know who you are. But. Uh, that's going to be the new surprise in Mississippi, Miami, Mississippi, July 5th. Y'all want to be there. All right. Don't miss that. And your family members, those Turners and those Trassers and those Vertisons and those Jones and those Jacksons and those Bookers. <laughs> I want you all, I want all of you all to come on down to Mississippi. And we're going to be there and we're going to be having us a good old soul music time. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. And yes, we are. And we hope you are as well. So, Loretta, before we go, do you have anything special that you would like to announce? Just that put on those dancing shoes. Yeah. 
and get ready to feast. Oh, and, wow. And just walk right into all of the glam. <laughs> Can't wait. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm just letting everybody know. We're not going to say what, but Loretta is going to have it. She's going to have the place uh, looking like you ain't never imagined it was going to look. So oh. if you, we're not going to tell them what it's going to be like, but hey. Yeah. Oh, and I got one more thing to say. What? Ladies, wear your crown and wear it well. <laughs> yeah, because we're going to have a lot of queens who are the ladies of the queens and guys, you know, uh, you know, you're, you're kings as well. But, but of course, we're going to be for the queens uh, that night. And uh, and so the, the queens are going to wear their crowns That's and, the right. prince, and the little princesses, they're going to wear their mm -hmm. crowns as well. Oh, yes. Because they're going to one day be queens themselves. That's right. Going to be totally grand. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So I think that's it for tonight. And uh, what we're going to do is invite everybody back for the next uh, segment. Because mm -hmm. everything that was old in music, especially soul music, is new again. Oh, and one thing I want to uh, uh, I want to say this again. I would like to take this time to quickly uh, 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 thank all of my new fan base, not only in Italy and Spain, but also in the continent, the motherland, Africa, Ghana, Sierra Leone. Hey, thank you all for really supporting uh, my new uh, soon to be released <laughs> hit song, according to you all. That's all right with me. And so I thank you very much for, for loving that song. And uh, you know what? That's all right with me. So, Definitely all right with me. <laughs> exactly. So you have been talking so because we had a story to be told. I'm Vel Omar, and I'm with the lovely Miss Loretta B. We will Thank see you all next time. Lots of love and blessings. If you feel you don't love me And right now our love's not meant to be Just take the time you feel that you need That's all right with me I'll prove My heart is true I'm gonna prove My love for you Whatever it takes, baby You'll see That's all right You feel that you need